Hi guys, Monty here. Uh, my Instagram handle is Move with Monty. We're going to be going through a 10 minute arm blaster today. So, if you want to throw this at the end of a workout or even at the beginning of the workout, if you want to do some pre exhaustion work with the arms, this is a really, really cool uh, 10 minute workout that you can do. We're going to hit the biceps and the triceps uh, in particular, but we're also going to throw a little bit of chest work and a little bit of shoulder work in there as well with the press ups and with the overhead press. So, we're going to kick things off. Everything's going to be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. In that 15 seconds, I'm gonna have that time to demonstrate the next exercise. So make sure that you're following along and make sure that you're keeping your eye on the camera in that 15 seconds so that you know what's coming up next. We're gonna start off with push-ups. So there's nothing fancy about these. Uh, I just want you to start at an, a, a level that's appropriate for you. So if you prefer starting from your knees, that's totally fine. So if you wanna just come here and do the knees, uh, do the push-ups from the knees, that's totally cool. If you wanna go a little bit harder, come up to the feet and do the same thing. So guys, you've still got another 25 seconds of the push-ups. This is just to get you warm. Don't go super hard yet because we've got some hard exercises that are really gonna target uh, the biceps and triceps in particular coming up. So just get yourself warm. No need to go crazy yet. Save a little bit of gas in the tank uh, for, the, uh, for the coming up exercises. So see if you can squeeze another few more push-ups in. You've got five, four, three, two and one guys time all right take a rest so the next exercise is going to be a banded bicep curl so from here you can either do the bicep curl with a band if you've got a band or if not then you can do it with a dumbbell instead so you're going to be here lifting this way keep your elbow pinned and off we go 45 seconds has started keep the elbow pinned make sure that all of the movement is coming from the bicep and not from you trying to thrust up with the hips or try and shrug it up with the shoulder. If you've just got a band, if you've just got a band, apologies, my mic's going a little bit funny today. So from here, instead, what I want you to do, uh, if you don't have that band, is have, that, is have the dumbbell instead. Repeat the same process, just make sure that you're not shrugging it up, make sure that you're not thrusting your hips or extending your back when you're doing that. You've got another 10 seconds, Make sure that you do the other side. We're going to come to the other side in four, three, two, one, and switch. All right, guys, you've got 45 seconds of this arm to do as well. Make sure you keep that elbow pinned to your ribs. Make sure that you're not resting it in. Uh, make sure you're not resting it on your body. And try not to throw your hips into it. Try not to arch your back. Make sure that all of the work and all of the movement is only occurring about this elbow joint. And that way you're really, really going to dial the work into the bicep. All right, guys, you've got 20 seconds left. Last 15. You guys are doing great. So really dial that work into the bicep. Make sure that the movement isn't coming from the hips. Make sure it's not coming from the back. Make sure it's all coming from that elbow joint. All right, last five, four, three, Two and one, great guys. All right, we're gonna go into the push-ups now. Uh, sorry, not the push-ups, we've got the tricep push-ups, so triangle push-ups. If you guys haven't done these before, it's just a slight variation on a push-up that's just gonna target the triceps a little bit more than the normal push-up. So as you do this, you're gonna try and make a triangle shape with your, uh, with your hand, and you're gonna try and get your chest to touch right in the center of that tricep. So I'm gonna demo from my knees to begin with, try and bring your chest all the way down to the center of that triangle, and then push yourself back up. Now what you should, what should happen is your forearm should just hover just above the floor as you get to the bottom of the movement. And that's really gonna dial the work into the triceps as you do that. So it's a very tricep dominant exercise. You shouldn't feel too much work on it going on in the chest, although you might feel a little bit of assistance going on there as well. You guys have got 10 seconds left worth of these tricep push-ups, and then we're gonna go into the next exercise. All right, last five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent, guys, rest up. So, the next exercise we're gonna go into is a kneeling overhead press. So, from here, what I want you to do is either take one knee down to the floor using either your band or your, or your dumbbell. You're gonna lift the dumbbell up this way, keep the elbow in front of your body, and then pump it overhead. So of course this is gonna work your triceps as well, but mainly this is gonna be working on your deltoid, your main shoulder muscle. So it's this one that's covering that joint capsule right there, okay? We're gonna do 20 seconds on this arm, 20 seconds on the next arm. We're gonna start in five, four, three, 
two and one. All right, guys, we've got kneeling overhead press. We're gonna do 20 seconds on one arm, 20 seconds on the other, off we go. Okay. Guys, we've got 15 seconds. Remember, try and keep that core nice and tight. Try and keep your hips locked in so your, your, your body is stiff. All of the movement is occurring from this shoulder and from the elbow. Nothing else moves. If you want to do it from your band, that's totally fine as well. You can pop the band just underneath your knee and you can repeat the same process. Now, it does change the exercise a little bit because it's a very different type of resistance. And we're gonna switch on to the other side in the next five. So switch sides now, Kneel, uh, bring the dumbbell or the band to the other side. We're gonna do 20 seconds on this side as well. All right, off we go. So we're gonna do the other side. Make sure that you're keeping this core nice and stiff. Press that dumbbell overhead. Most of the movement, if not all of the movement, is occurring at the shoulder joint and at the elbow. Try and keep the elbow in front of your body. If you want to do it with the band, just make sure that your band is pinned right underneath your knee and do the same thing, okay? Guys, you've got 10 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, and one time. All right, we're gonna go back into those triangle push-ups. So we're gonna come down onto the floor, hands in a triangle. We're gonna bring our chest right over the top of it and we're gonna bend the elbows and push back up. All right, bend the elbows and push back up. Try and bring your chest all the way down to that center of the triangle and then come back up. Guys, you've got 30 seconds starting now. Off we go. We're gonna take a little bit longer on the next one because I've got a little bit more to demonstrate on this next exercise. All right, 25 seconds to go. Make sure that you're bringing your chest all the way down, right to the center of that triangle. Drop those elbows to the floor. You're trying to dial the work into your triceps. You might feel a little bit of chest work, you might feel a little bit of shoulder work, that's fine. You guys have got 10 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, and one time. All right guys, we're gonna go back into the kneeling overhead press. So remember, we're gonna do 20 seconds on each side. Get ready, make sure that you either got both legs kneeling next to each other or you've got one leg forward, it's really up to you. So we're gonna start in 10 seconds. Either grab your band or your dumbbell in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so elbow's gonna stay in front of the body, and then you're gonna pump that dumbbell, or band, all the way overhead. Make sure that most of the movement is coming from the shoulder or from the elbow. That's one of the things that's nice about kneeling, is you can't really throw your back into it as much. Because if you throw your back into it, you really start to lose your balance. So in order for you to stay balanced, you have to stay right on top of your knees. All right, guys, 20 seconds on the other side, starting in three, two, and one. Off we go. Same process. Guys, we've got 10 seconds left on this arm, and then we're gonna switch onto the other side. In four, three, two, and one. Guys, time, all right. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of exercises to finish up with. Now these are slightly less common exercises, but one of the reasons that I've done this is to just show you a different way that you can target the bicep. So when we did that bicep curl at the beginning, either with the band or with the dumbbell, what you'll notice is that most of the work of the bicep curl is around here, okay? When you get up to this point here, because of your, my elbow is right underneath my fist, my bicep isn't actually having to work so hard. So what I want to be able to do is load up the bicep in this top range of motion here. The way that I'm gonna do that is either with the band, by getting into a bent over row position, and I'm gonna fix my elbow right about, right about my ribs, and then I'm gonna try and bring my fist up to my shoulder. I wanna pull my elbow back so that it lifts just in line with my ribs, but not back here because that becomes a row. I wanna bicep curl into my shoulder this way. So the elbow's coming up to around my rib height, but no further, because then it, it changes it very slightly. I'm gonna keep my fist in front of my elbow, and I'm gonna bicep curl up this way, okay? If you wanna try that with the dumbbell, please do. 
So guys, we're gonna do 45 seconds on each side of this. So now that you've had the demonstration, pick up your either your band or your dumbbell, and we're gonna go. So, you want the bicep to do most of the work. So don't try and pull the bi try, try and pull the elbow upward. The elbow is gonna come upward, but mainly the arm is gonna the, the elbow is gonna bend and the fist is gonna come up towards the shoulder instead. And what this is doing is it just loads that top part of the bicep curl. So if you wanna get strong in this top bit here, this is a really nice way that you can actually train that. All right, guys, we're gonna switch sides in the next five seconds in four, three, two, and one. All right, switch sides. So we're gonna do about 20, 25 seconds on this side as well. So same principle, elbow doesn't go past the body, it's going just in line with the body, and then the fist comes up towards the shoulder as well. And we're trying to hit right on that bicep. All right, guys, you've got 15 seconds left. Stay with it. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Guys, time. So I just want to recap some of those exercises. So you can do the timing however you like. If you want to do 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off, that's completely fine as well. But there's some really useful exercises there. So, of course, the push-ups, you've got the chest work in the shoulders, the triceps, and the core. So that's really, really gonna target those areas specifically. But some of the other exercises like the bicep curls are gonna dial a lot more work into the bicep. So if you've had a heavy day rowing or if you've been doing a lot of uh, pu pu pulling or pushing, this can be a really nice way just to finish off those biceps with those bicep curls. If you wanna go into more of a tricep based push up, then you can make that triangle position and then you're trying to bring your chest down towards that triangle. And if you actually see the angle of my elbow, it puts my tricep on quite a big stretch. So they're having to work really hard to push back up. You've then got that banded bent over row this way, which really works on that top part of the bicep curl here, which you don't normally get from just a conventional bicep curl here. Okay, so there's a few different tips that you can practice with and you can guys can mix up the uh, timings however you like, but give them a go. My Instagram handle is Move with Monty. I'd love to hear how you guys get on with them and hear your experiences with them. So guys, I will see you in a couple of weeks time when I am live again with Premier Global NASM. Until then, 